Hello there. I have been stuck in this room for a long time. I started quarantining in this room on the 7th of January until the 31st of January when I actually went out and went to get the Pfizer vaccine and that was the first time I left the flat. I didn't do anything else, I just walked there and walked back. Probably many of you know this feeling already. You're physically stuck, you stop reaching out to friends and family, you close yourself up and waste time on things that bring you instant pleasure. Now, don't get me wrong, I know this sounds amazing in small doses, but when you're mentally and physically idle for more than one month, it can rapidly become a downward spiral. But today I don't want to go into detail about the negative feeling. I want to talk about one thing that helps me when I feel a bit down and a bit depressed or stuck. It's a really simple idea. I just find tiny things that I look forward to each day. It doesn't have to be something big or something productive or something good. Sure, it is nice to look forward to a birthday, a vacation, uh, the milestone that you've been wanting to reach, but life is not about these tiny moments in the uncertain future. Life is also right now. These small things are different from person to person. A friend of mine enjoys going to the supermarket and she makes a little trip out of it. For other people, it could be um, the cat purring and just being a cat. That hot tea that you can have every day that you like so much. We all have very different circumstances in different stages of life. Some people might want quality time alone, others might long for human connection, and others for excitement and vitality. So you can pay attention to what makes you happy remember it maybe make a little list and consciously allow more space in your life for these things so when it recently snowed in london i made a conscious decision to go out and make happy memories from it you One thing that goes well with winter is dessert. I'm going to share with you today how I make tiramisu. Tiramisu actually means cheer me up or pick me up in Italian, and I think it's because it has coffee and it makes you happy. It's quite easy to make. I use a recipe from Giallo Zafferano and it's only six ingredients. You'll need four eggs, make sure they're fresh and separate the yolks from the whites, 100 grams of sugar, 500 grams of mascarpone cheese, 300 grams of coffee, and finally, you'll need 300 grams of Savoyardi biscuits. These are also called lady fingers in the UK and you can find them at Waitrose. Not in the snack section, but in the baking section. We'll start by making the coffee. You can use instant coffee or Nespresso capsules. I like also to add some water to it so that the coffee isn't too strong and the tiramisu doesn't keep me from falling asleep at night. I don't usually drink coffee that I don't use in mocha, but I did this time and the boiling sound brought up a lot of childhood memories. Now let's move on to the cream. Put the four egg yolks in a bowl and use an electric mixer on high speed to mix it until it looks smooth. Add the sugar, half of the sugar all at once and mix it again until it looks a bit foamy and with some bubbles in it. Now you can mix in the 500 grams of mascarpone and mix again until you don't have any clumps. 
carefully clean and dry the mixer heads and we start with the egg whites this time use the electric mixer but add the sugar very slowly while you do it you don't need to mix it until it's stiff in just soft peaks would be okay like this now we can take the egg yolk mixture and mix them together take your time in this part because it's quite important you can use a bottom-up motion and try to be very very gentle so the air doesn't come out too quickly because that's going to make a very soggy tiramisu that's going to be wobbly and not be able to stand up so once it's all well mixed and you don't see any chunks in it pour the cold coffee in a container and start dipping the Savoyardi biscuits in it here be careful not to dip it for a long time one or two seconds should be enough if you do it for too long the biscuits will be too soggy and again that's not nice cover the biscuits with the cream that we've made around one centimeter of thickness should be okay and then you can move on again to add another layer of savoyardi Spread the cream evenly on the top and then we can move on to toppings. I also like to add another ingredient which is not in the original recipe. Um, I like to put in coconut flakes. I think it makes it slightly crunchier and I just really like coconut in general so I highly recommend it. And finally just spray some cocoa powder on top and it'll be ready to go. This step is always so satisfying for me. And the bitterness of the cacao powder goes really well with the sweetness. Put it in a fridge for a minimum of two hours up until the next day. Use something square like a spatula and it will come out nicely and square so you can serve it. Now you can sprinkle some cacao on top and it will be ready to go. Thank you so much for watching my video and let me know in the comments if there's any content you'd like to see in the future. I'm gonna leave now because I'm getting very hungry looking at this as it's 11 p.m. So I will see you in the next video.东北正常应该有的状态下雪的时候